to a new video. Today I'm going to do a wrap up of Scoured by Brandon Sanderson and A Very Large Expensive Sea by Tahara Mafi. Um, I've never loved books. I think these are my, like they gave the book out five stars. I think these are the books that I actually really love this year that I read. So very impressed. Alright, so now what I'm going to do is just break it out in different uh, categories when I review my books. Um, so I'm going to start with Skyward by Brandon Sanderson. The video. First of all, it gave me all the feels. Like I've just written like pointers on like what to talk about. But first I'm just going to explain to you what the book is about. So just, there's a girl that really wants to be a pilot but because her dad was a trader uh, they want to um, they never want her to be a pilot so uh, they're doing everything for her not to be and she doesn't believe that her dad is actually a trader and she wants to sort of find out what's going on um, because because he's a trader his whole family is living in the um, like the cheaper part like the ghetto ish kind of part because what it is is they live on a planet that uh, there's these pilots well these enemies uh, that keep attacking them so if you live higher up from the sky you're poor the like because it could actually destroy right because bombers and stuff like that so the more money you have the deeper you live in the planet and it's all like by tunnels and stuff like that um the story is really good like the world building was perfect um i it is not like apparently I've heard this that Brandon Sanderson is like a huge world builder but this one is uh they, keep, they stay at the same place most of the time except at the end um so that's what I like about this book so it's not too complicated um this is my first Brandon Sanderson I do have a lot of well I have his Mistborn and the I know it's another series I'll put a picture here um of his so uh, I was really intrigued on like what were actually gonna happen but for the world building I really I gave it five stars it's actually really really good um, so yeah and the way he describes everything in the world like I just felt like I knew where I was in the book um, I could imagine everything so that was one of the side that I really loved uh, the family's not really involved because they're so busy trying to like they her mom is like he's trying to um, like they're poor right so she struggles so she can't really visit her daughter and the place where she is you need a suspicion uh, like a pilot pin to be able to be where she is most of the book anyway so that's another one Mbot, Mbot. I freaking love that. Like, he's. You know how in. Okay, I'm gonna compare this to Star Wars. So, um, if you gave me Star Wars, and give me Skyward, I, pr I kind. I okay. Yes, I do. I don't know what I could. They're relatable because it is outer space. Um, they're driving all the time. They have weird little beings i could say so the, she has this like robot that like tells joke like all the time he's like she'll tell him like oh give him a compliment oh nice shoes whatever like he's really like <laughs> he's such a robot in a funny way but i really loved him and she has like a slug that's always with her also that repeats everything she says um which is really cute i just felt like in Star Wars, the new one, you always have like a cute animal that's always there, but I felt like they had that in this one. And uh, I've, nev I've never read like a fantasy book that has something like that yet. So I, I don't know, I just felt like I really loved it just because of that. And there's one guy uh, that I hope we see more of because I know there's three more books in this series. It's a... Uh, I don't know, there's four books in this series. So there's one other guy that um, I really hope we see more of because his family history, I just feel like is really complicated. And he's um, nicknamed Jerkface <laughs> because he thinks he's the boss. And just because his 
dad is rich and he's privileged but you'll you'll see more in the story like he has more depth to his character and i don't know i just liked it the way it was um there's a lot okay her grandma is blind and she uh there's nothing to do with blindness she's just blind um but she knows a lot about gods mythology but in their like their gods um they call them gods of just the first people that ever arrive on their planet so you'll see a lot of that which i really enjoyed and i think what i enjoyed most about it was just like it was really new and that's what built the world too so it wasn't just like poop they're on that planet and that's it no they actually had like a structure on like what happened before and you learn a lot and i love it um i cried like a baby there is i'll i'll say though if you are not um there's a lot of debt in this story and a lot of sadness and happiness and funny like there's a lot of emotion in this book so that's like a big thing that i really really loved so that was one big thing that i actually really loved about it so that's another thing so now we're going to switch to a very large expanse of sea by tahira mafi first of all uh tahira mafi is a great writer She's more on like a poem base. It's more artistic, the writing. That's why I loved it more, just because the relationship between friends were more like romantic slash, I don't know, it was just more artistic. So I really liked it that way. And this book here, it is about a girl that she is a Muslim girl after 9-11 so uh i didn't live in the u.s so i've never really um i don't know we didn't have any people that were muslim either my school was pretty much just uh caucasian and indian so we're mostly like there there was like two twins that were of color um one set of twins i should say that was set of color so uh we didn't really have race like anything with racism in our school so i can't say that i understand anything but being in her place where the main character made me open my eyes a lot um and we may say stuff that we don't think is racism or racial or whatever um but it is and it just made me open my eyes and understand a lot more of uh, half of the population of well canada has a lot of them in toronto in bc um but like it's uh interesting yeah it made me really open my eyes but it was a really really good book i love the romance there's a lot of break dancing so if you're into that uh that's uh another plus and this is actually like sort of what tarot mafi went through when she was actually a teenager and so yeah and you see a lot of uh culture in this book a lot of a lot of culture so it was really good like the ending i cried <laughs> again and like i did not want to get bothered it's like do not come near me i'm just enjoying this but it was really really good but i gave it five stars also and um i'm not like i try to read tara mafi's uh, middle grade i read the first one was not my i don't know middle grade is not for me maybe because my i'm not middle grade anymore uh i just don't relate as much and then her fantasy one i read the first book i don't know where it is probably in my room because i don't have place on my shelves so when my battery like it's like my my camera can only do like 10 minutes at a time or else it overheats and just stops every time so i'm sorry about that um but uh, i don't remember what i was saying oh right about sarah mafi's other series so yeah i don't relate a lot about long series i prefer her standalone which is this one which is the only one that i've read um of a standalone from her i do hope she makes a lot more stories like that um her romance is spot on i really loved it um i just don't uh relate to many of her books um i know i've given like higher stars for past her past books but 
so with that being said thank you so much for watching my video don't forget to uh comment down below on what you thought about this video um and like if you liked it and if you like this kind of video i will try to do more of like double review i used to do them on my blog but i don't have time to write anymore it's ridiculous how busy i am and i used to be able to do stuff at work but right now it's crazy busy and everybody's like quitting so with that anyways uh so don't forget to subscribe and click the bell if you want to get notified and i'll see you in my next video and my name is jose at jose's bookshelf and i'll see you next time bye